he became a multi-billionaire in the span of not even 18 months. And ultimately it collapses. Let's assuming he gets roughly around 20 years. I think actually going to the prison is gonna be a shock to him. They tell you strip, bend over, cough, spread your cheeks. Can you imagine, like in his mind, like this is mind boggling. His ability to get these constant visits, he's not getting oh, yeah. them. His problem is gonna lie in dealing with the guilty people. County jail and prison, the mentality of the people are very vastly different. He's gonna have to deal with the personality clash of it. Sam Bankman Freed was found guilty. Yes. Uh, and, you know, I did, and I did a, a couple, I've done a couple of videos on him. Well, you know, I mean, what were you doing the videos on? Like, just, just the, the, the fact that it was fraud? Yeah, you know? just, just, to, just, well, I mean, I don't think, first of all, he was running around trying to tell everybody it wasn't fraud. It, it was, it was during the time period when he was, he was doing his little media spin, um, right. uh, tour. You know, like, oh, you don't understand what was happening and this isn't what happening. This isn't what was happening. And what I was doing was perfectly legal. And and at the same time, you're you're finding out that his girlfriend and the upper management of the company have all are in the middle of being debriefed well, by the FBI and they've all flipped on him. Well, did they did they not when they interviewed him, they questioned him like specifically about the things that were going on? Like, but isn't it true that like right now, like two billion dollars of, of people who on the exchange money is missing. Oh, well, that's, you know, I can explain that. And <laughs> yeah, he, you know, the problem with him is, and I, and I said this before is that, you know, he's, he's, he suffers from that. I'm the smartest guy in the room syndrome. You know what I mean? And he spins it and people, he's got a little brilliant, a little, I'm a, I'm a brilliant where weirdo, you know, uh, he that that's kind of what his whole push is like hey you know yeah i'm you know i'm like he's got like a touch of aut aut autism or something you know he's, and, and so he's he's playing on the he's playing a video game while he's at a board meeting asking for uh you know 500 million dollars or something and they're like wow i love this guy like he's like a he's like an idiot savant and really he's just he's not that he's not smart but he's young and arrogant and he just thinks he's so smart he can convince anybody of anything Right, but right. but recognize, Matt, this fortune came to him overnight. Like what? What? Like he became a multi-billionaire in the span of not even a year, not even eighteen months. Right. He went from zero to a hundred, <laughs> like yeah. all the way out there. Well, I mean, I think some people would be, you know, realize that there was a little bit of luck behind. It. Well, I mean, if look, if you're young and arrogant and smart. And you go out and you start a company and you suddenly start making a ton of money right away. You start to think, well, yeah, I've just got it all figured out. I'm just brilliant. But there's lots of brilliant people. And, you know, there's still there's still things that go wrong along the way. And you have to take responsibility for that. And, and he didn't. And right. and then, of course, he's lying about it. And then, of course, it catches up with him. And then the company start going under. And, you know, everybody knows kind of how that fell apart. And then he. Then he does. Then he does his little media tour where he's trying to tell everybody how he, you know, it's not really his fault. It's not his fault. Or first, it's like it. First of all, it, it starts off with don't like. It's like don't pay attention to the man behind the curtain. You know what I mean? Like, like don't like he's, don't pay attention to the fact that the market is crumbling or imploding, right. or people are saying it's built on nothing. And that all the people in the know are now cooperating with the FBI saying and providing documents that show that I knew it was a fraud. Don't pay attention to that. They're lying. What? They're lying. They made up the. Still, they made still, it all up. Still go to my exchange. Still use me to buy your bitcoins, please. Right. Right. <laughs> well, your cryptocurrency. It wasn't Bitcoin. But yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, cryptocurrency. That's yeah. that's a better term. So, so yes. What I what I've learned during this process is there is a difference between Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. Yes, and, there is. And so he yeah, you know, look, look, he he basically was printing money and bar and using that money to to buy different businesses and get himself out of a jam. And ultimately it collapses and he ends up getting um I don't know if he ended up did he get extradited or did he eventually just agree to come to the U S when I think it was obvious he was coming. So regardless, he ended up, I want to say he was, he was extradited, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he just finally agreed. They started the process. I know that comes to the U S gets bond. I think he does turn himself would, in. 
Right. Oh, well, you know, he was he was in the I want to say, was it? The I'm Cayman. probably gonna get this wrong too. Is it Virgin Islands? Virgin Islands, yes. Oh, was it? So and and he they started the extradition process. And I think they put him in jail in the Virgin Islands, and he very quickly realized, oh, I can't do be me in jail in the Virgin Islands. Like this is <laughs> this place is horrendous. So then I think he you're right. Then I think he said, Okay, I'll come. So then he comes to the United States and then he gets bond, which you and I would never get. You and I not not even well, I mean, of course, one, because we both are already had, you know, fraud charges in the past. So skip that. Let's assume neither one of us did like the amount, the, the amount of money that was missing in his case and the overwhelming amount of evidence and all of these uh, people that were cooperating and he still got bond. Like there's just, it, it's, it's insane. You know, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you that just goes to the constitutional right for bond. And so any, anytime it's televised, you get bond. Yeah. You know, yeah. when it's <laughs> No, you're right. Yeah, and, and look, I'm not saying you shouldn't get bond. Like I'm right. not like I, I, I think you're not, constitutionally you're you're supposed to be constitutionally guaranteed it, you know. Right. That's what I'm saying is that like he got bond. Not that he shouldn't have gotten bond, but you wouldn't get bond. I wouldn't get bond. Like it it needs to be fair across the like if you're not gonna give anybody bond, then don't give anybody bond. But don't give him bond because, like you said, because it's being televised. Give everybody that, bond. That's that's the only time they 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 get bond. Pe- people who just commit or if that you're cooperating. Heinous, they, they, yeah, right. If you're fighting them, that's, yes. Yeah. My I fault. always love there was that rap <laughs> song. There was the rap song where the guys go. He's like, uh, I can't. Uh, I'm not cooperating, so I can't get bond. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's so true. <laughs> Imagine finding true words in rap music, but yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Um, oh gosh. So, yes. My, so my, he, okay. he, he gets bond, but do you know how he blew, how did he blow bond that he had to go back into custody? Cause for um, trial he was in custody. Yeah. I think there was like a, I don't want to say there was a, maybe there was a gag order. I think there was a gag order and he ended up leaking information to the, whatever the New York times or so, somebody, he ended up talking to them and give, or giving them information or something. And he, he, they ended up revoking his bond. And then when he got there, he, he started putting in motions like he wanted a, he wanted a special vegetable diet. Oh, yes. He wanted a be- I remember he like that. A vegan or something. He only eats certain foods. Yeah, it's like, oh, but bro, you have a rude awakening. Yeah. Yes. A nationwide menu rude awakening. Yes, he is. Yeah. So, th- so, so then he goes, tr- go ahead. So he he's facing supposedly 114 years, which is the statutory maximum for yes 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 I know. I know. What what is your speculation that he'll get? He got found guilty on all all the counts. Right. So well, what first do you all, think he'll get? First, I was all I was going to say he he testified, right? You yeah. know he testified, which is typically you know typically a mistake, uh, unless you're come off really really credible, right? Um, but he testified and I don't think he comes off credible. I think that when you put 20 different people on the stand that all say you're guilty and you have all this evidence that proves you're guilty and then they put him on the stand, like, I don't know. I I, I wonder why he even went to, to trial. Although I would like to say, I, I do know several, especially in a high profile case, a lot of times if you do go to trial, like they may have come to him and said, we're offering you 30 years. And he said, I'm not doing 30 years. And he said, and he said, I'll go to trial. And of course, one, his lawyers think, Hey, we can make a chunk of money. So let's take him to trial. We'll make a bunch of money. He must've had a chunk of money left. Right. Well, his family had some money and their friends. And I'm sure that throughout this whole process, he's still got some people fooled. So he's got some money. So, even if let's say it's half a million dollars, you know, half a million dollars for whatever it was, a, a, a two or three week trial, still a right. nice payday. So the lawyers go, they do the trial, they put him on the stand. He's not a great witness because there's, there's, they can dispute a lot of Every, what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. And so, you know, it, not that I think there was any way to save him, but, but here's the thing about going to trial sometimes. Sometimes they offer you 30 years and you go to trial and you get 20. 
So it was worth it for you to go to trial. And in this case, especially in high profile cases, they treat you very fairly. So he'll probably end up with 20 years. What? Even though, oh, I think he's getting Come 20. On, Matt. But that's all I think he's getting. What? That's not uh, a minimum. I'll, that's not a Matt. There's no mandatory minimum in his crime. Yo, you think he'll get less? Yes. It was billions. So, yes. So guideline wise, Guideline wise, he'll probably score out to about between nine and about 13. No way. He has no priors, Matt. He's a zero. Yeah, but his his dollar loss is off the chart. It's at the top. So it would, it would give him 28 levels. Okay. Well, what about all the enhancements? Oh, yeah. Well. I mean, they're sophisticated. Well, then that, that would, that the would, let, to that would that, well, that would take him to life. That would take him to life. Well, I, I think the, I mean, look, in, in the end, I'll bet you the judge is going to take into consideration his age. You know, he, he's made a mistake. They're going to play up the fact that he's young. He's arrogant. He didn't know what he was doing. He's never run a business. And he, keep in mind, during the trial, he also relied on, professional responsibility uh, um, re reliance on a on professional responsibility or reliance on a professional whatever i forget the exact term but it basically says hey you know i was relying on like my cpa or i relied on right. my, in his case to do. yes in his case yes. he said my lawyer backed up all my lawyers were telling me this was okay now of course that's not true because then they show that but that was what he was pushing was like i talked to my lawyers they were saying that this is okay and i didn't realize and i made some mistakes and you know, obviously we didn't know how to run a business and golly gee was I'm so sorry. I still right. think he gets twenty years. I, I, I think I he gets probably roughly twenty. No? I, I well, don't, great because, we can go back to this. Yeah, take a bet. Ooh, because on March twenty eighth we can go back to this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Because it, it's seven charges that equals hundred and fourteen or whatever years. So that means the statutory maximum doesn't exceed twenty years. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, mm -hmm. So one of them like might have a 10 year statutory max. So they would have to, to, to stack a couple of charges. God, I, pr well, I shouldn't say he's not, I should, I'm praying that he doesn't. Yeah. I was going to say like, look, I'm not saying it's exactly 20. It may be 22. It may be 17. It's going to be in that range of 20. I think, I think that I might give you cause I, I, I think it'll be under 15. But um, that's Listen, my that's my goal. I think it'll be under fifteen. Uh, Elizabeth Holmes got. I'm gonna say, th I, and I could be off on this slightly, but I think she got like thirteen years. Yes. And honestly, I thought she should have gotten. But, I thought she was gonna get twenty years. Really? I was see, off on that. See how you're wrong. Off. Hey, and and she got um, three years taken off. She's under ten now. Remember, I told you I, I know a couple of people that are in there right. with her. Right. And oh, she's and she's gonna now. get what is it? First Step Act. Is that oh, the, yes, yes. She's, she's gonna probably going to run about five or six. Right. So here's the thing. Even if Bankman Freed gets, let's say he gets um, 20, with good time, he's going to get, he's going to do 17. Um, he's going to get another probably four years off with the First Step Act for programming, which yes. he'll program like a motherfucker. Uh, oh, they're doing that. They're, their dates are changing constantly now. People yeah. are programming. Don't you wish we had that? So ridiculous, bro. Ridiculous. <laughs> All the good shit happens. Like when, when I'm not, when I'm not a, able to take advantage of it. I remember too. Remember the crack oh, well. law? Remember the crack law? Everybody was like, well, they were getting out of crack law and they were like, damn Cox, you should have been selling crack. That's the problem. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I don't know what, what I was, was thinking. I thinking. What was I thinking? <laughs> um, so anyway, damn you curse you bank fraud. <laughs> so he was found guilty. Huh? He was found guilty. Yes. So I think really what the purpose of the the whole, I mean, this whole, you know, and you, you, it's funny that you actually texted me and said, hey, we should do something on this. And I was thinking, I think you've ever texted me to say we should do something <laughs> on anything. Um, but ba basically, you know, you said, this is what you said a couple of days ago, because I actually went and I was, uh, did have somebody's podcast. So it was gone for a few days or we would have done this like three days ago, three, four right. days ago. Which would have been like a day after he he was found guilty. You know, yes, guilty. Well, because the shock value, because of the little war, the wars going on, the shock value of it just kind of came and it's a flash in the pants. Well, yeah, we could have know? we could have ridden that wave. 
You could have written away. Way. So, so where is he from? I'm trying to figure out where he'll go. Because, you know, um, because of the First Step Act, they've, you know, the BOP is short staffed, so they've made a couple of new places lows. Like, they've closed some of the places in West Virginia. Like, all of that, I think it's Edgewood, West Virginia, is now a low. You know what I'm saying? So they've they've expanded the low because, believe it or not, that, that First Step Act with that programming has cut the violence almost in half, statistic-wise, in the BOP. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, of course. Everybody's behaving oh, themselves now. Oh, yes. And programming. People are like, hey, I need to program. Like, if, if you're losing 15 days per month off your sentence, like every month, your people can go and look at your release date and it's shorter, 15 days. It's it's like people are losing their mind programming. Imagine us teaching classes. They'd be fighting to get in. I just say, <laughs> could you imagine people stabbing each other to try and get a spot in your class? <laughs> Listen, and I I'll used kill to. You if I can't get in this guy's, drop your I, name off that list. <laughs> I used to, you know, remember I used to charge people that didn't want to program, like they don't want to do it. They just got them. They got on the roll. You're supposed to be here. You don't want to come. And I'd be like, listen, g- give me like two creamers and a coffee, you know, like, and, and I'll fill out your paperwork and I'll make sure you get your certificate. Now yes. it'd be like, hey, it's gonna be a little bit of money. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like three creamers, eight coffees. I, I, I'm going to give you a list. That's extortion. Give me the list, Matt. That's extortion. I'm going right to the counselor. <laughs> um, so what, yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's telling, right? That's telling. I, <laughs> um, I'm ready. You think they were telling before? Listen, oh you know what's so God. funny? I did. So I did this. I, I didn't even do a TikTok. I did an interview where I mentioned. Th- this that that whole thing where this guy tried to extort me right. and i explained the whole thing like i explained it exactly what happened if you read the comments 98 percent of them are oh this guy left out the spot the, the the he left out the part where that guy fucking raped him in the be- in the you know in the bathroom and it was like what or he left out the spot where he got he got shanked or yeah that would never happen bro this guy's full of shit he, that would never happen these do nobody would ever you know, his his own people would straighten him out or he would be and it's like what are you doing bro i was at coleman low <laughs> like even at the medium that wouldn't have happened you know right like they these guys have watched so much tv or they've been to a state pen it's like okay you were and think about what you did to get to a state pen. You were breaking into people's houses. You were doing home invasions. You were doing, you were stealing cars. You were doing carjacking. Like you were doing violent crimes. You ended up in a state prison and you saw there were a lot of gangs and people were getting punked out and extorted. And they were getting like, that's an extremely serious prison. And they think in their mind, and then they get home. And they tell all their buddies, they did five years, they tell all their buddies what prison's like. And that that kind of populates throughout their whole throughout the whole community. And then of course they also see it on TV. And right. they now everybody thinks they know how prison works. Right. And now right. when you tell them, no, this is what happened, they go, nah, he'd have been killed. <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Like you did some time at a at a state pen, or you right. did some time at a you did 45 days in the county jail and everybody in the county jail was telling you how pr- how violent prison is and how horrible it is and and how but I went I was at a medium for 3 years nothing happened like that I didn't get extorted at the medium and then I went to oh. then I went to a low and was somebody tried to extort me at the low and that didn't happen you know like I was like I'm not paying I'm not paying like give me your fucking list I'll take it to the counselor oh you going to snitch on me yeah I'm going to snitch on you <laughs> oh, okay. It ain't going to work out for you, bro. It ain't going to work out. I say, oh, all right, well, we'll see. We'll see. And the guy left and I never heard about it again. He's so like, yeah, I can't scare that. I can't scare that guy. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. And you know, what's so funny about it is like, you know, at the low, so many people had cooperated, right? Like 90% of those guys have cooperated. And it, I found out later, like six months later or a year later, I realized that this guy had originally gotten He'd been locked up like 10 years. The one that tried to extort you? Yes. He'd originally got, I think it was like 30 years or a life sentence. And he had cooperated so much. He'd gotten his sentence down. Like, I think it was like life. Then went to 30. Then from 30 went to like 22. Then from 22, it went to like 
18 or 19. And now he don't, by that point, he'd been locked up like 10 years. So it's like, he's, he is, and everybody knew, like, I didn't know. So, but you know, slowly and within a year, they started, I started realizing people were telling me, well, you know, he cooperated, right? I'm like, no, I had no idea. Like, I didn't know. Thought he was big, tough guy and six foot six. And, um, but he just, you know, he did, he just tried me. You know, and it wasn't successful, right? He didn't have it. He didn't have that spirit in him. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. In my mind, that's an accomplishment. I'm, I'm sorry, but if you get a life sentence, if you get out from under a life sentence, however, however you do it, right? That, that is an accomplishment. The fact that you will actually be free again <laughs> when the judge, oh, yeah. when everybody intended for you never to see the light of day. Look, you know what's funny? <laughs> I, I, I did this guy Ian Bix podcast and he was like uh we were talking he we talked about cooperation i told him that i you know yeah i had cooperated and he said um and we we had this little discussion and he's and i said yeah i said it's funny i said he, i don't know which one of us said something about snitches get stitches um, i said to be honest with you and i said it's been all upside for me i got no stitches i didn't have any real problems right i had some problems but not real problems nobody ever right. beat me up nobody ever like none of that ever happened so I hear you. I get it. It's a catchy phrase. Snitches get stitches. But in my case, it's been all upside. And then, and then <laughs> well, I did a – sorry. He means the, he means from the laughter. You know? right. <laughs> what, <laughs> what's, what's so funny? You got funny. me in stitches here, right? I'm just Listen, then he was like, like bro, like, what, what, what was your thought process or something? And I went, well, I had to weigh the respect of a bunch of criminals – or 12 years off my sentence, I went with the 12 years. Like, fuck that. Cr- fuck. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're, you're not going to believe this. It wasn't a hard choice. <laughs> no, not at all. And so, and so unfortunately for uh, Mr. Bankman Fried or Freed, uh, yeah, he, he's not, he's not going to enjoy those benefits. No, but let, let's say he gets 20 years. Let's go with 20. Maybe you get, it gets less. Either way, you think he'll go to a camp or he goes to a low. You think he goes to a low or? Well, if he gets twenty, I think he'll go to a low. I think he'll go. Oh, to even a low. even even. Oh yeah, no, yeah. If he goes twenty, he's definitely going to a low. He can't go to a camp. He's got to have less than ten. And if he has, if he gets more than twenty, he's going to go to a medium. He. That's what I'm asking. He's from he's from New York, right? Yes. You know, so he'll go to he'll probably go to a a low. They'll start off at some low up up there, like um, what's what's the big spot that they all know? I don't know. I don't know any of the prisons up there. Oh. It's like you know, I know like Beaumont. Is it Raybrook? Is it Raybrook? Is it? Yeah, I think so. Like I just for some reason feel like prisons up north are are, or at least in the New York area, are a little tougher. Um, no. am I wrong? I don't. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, you are. Um, talking to the they. So the the ignorance is probably in the South in Florida. Like I think we have a I think we have a corner and and that in Texas. I think the South has a corner of the market on ignorance when it comes to those guys that are in prison. So <laughs> um, you get a lot more stupid things that are being done, just like idiocy. So um, up north, it's a little more organized and. Those guys don't just go for crazy things. They actually stand up for 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 better things than they do down south. And and but you know all that's inmate.com. It's all going to depend on on the people that you're locked up with. I, I can just say this for a fact: the 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 FBOP have just been locking up. Like I I, I don't know, man. Federal federal prisoners are not what they used to be at all. Yeah, at, yeah. At, at all. It's 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 they're part of the state prison system as well. So Yeah. The bar is know. very low. Yes. <laughs> um so he's going to he'll be sentenced in March. Let's assuming he gets roughly around 20 years. He's you know, they'll immediately take off his game time. So, so he's he's in he's in county jail right now or he's the in US um, Marshals holdover. Yeah, Marshals holdover. So he's probably single man selling it. You know what I'm saying? He probably doesn't have a lot of people he has to deal with right now. And he gets visits, visits, visits from lawyers, family, because he's right there at home where his parents can be there. You know, so he gets a ton of visits from them. So he's he's not that occupied mentally. 
Uh, I think actually going to the prison is going to be for the prison is going to going to be a shock to him. He's going to have to to deal with like uh like an emotional shock because it's it's not going to be the same. He's 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 gotten accustomed to being in custody, but the prison environment and the the social structure is what's going to going to shock him because he's not going like Elizabeth Holmes was free. She was free up until. Turned herself in. And then they still gave her two weeks to turn herself in. I know people that they'll, they get months before they turn themselves in. Yes. But, but, uh, let me say, so one thing is that when you're in like the U S marshals holdover, which most of the time is, is located in a County jail of some kind, but you get a little bit different. You get treated a little different. So, so you have a, yeah, you you basically you're not really going outside a lot. You're it's a it's like you're never leaving this the pod area. I'm just saying for people that are watching. So you're never really leaving the pod area. But and, you don't think he's in a pod though, do you, man? Free um, well, bankman free. You think he's like in locked up being locked up? Yeah, I think he I think he's by himself somewhere. Solitary. I, you think he's in a pod with other people? I don't think he's in I, I do. I mean, they still have cells in the pod. Right. But I, I think they probably have a very, very soft pod that they put him in. And I think they're watching him. You know, I, I think they probably got like, hey, this is this guy. We're going to keep an eye. Like we listen. Here's what the people don't realize. Like in the U.S. Marshals holdover, they don't want you to get hurt. Like it doesn't make them look good if you get hurt, especially a high profile guy like that getting hurt on their watch. They're going to make if, like you said, his lawyers are constantly coming. You know, his parents are coming. His family is coming. He's getting all kinds of interaction. He he can't walk. He's not walking the track. He's not able to do a lot of the stuff. The, in some ways, in a lot of ways, prison has a lot more freedoms. Right. Right. So it is. A now, now they're going to they're going to intermingle him in with the people. Right. So when he goes to he's going to be mo- shipped to uh, to a prison. Right. Um, you know. I mean, unless he already got out, which I think he, I don't ever didn't hear anything about him getting back out once. He's, his, he's not out. Movie. He's not out. He was, he was led back into custody after, right after the guilty verdict. So oh, okay. he's not going to get out. All right. Oh, so, he, I mean, yeah, I doubt nah, it, but yeah, you're right. Out. Yeah. They're not going to let him out now. Like, I'd be well, like, they, they, like yeah, anyway, yeah, go ahead. So, well, first of all, he's not going to go anywhere. His parents have that, like that all the, if they let him out, they'd put a lean, or they, they, his parents would put up their house again. Like he's not going to take off on his parents and have their your parents lose your, their house. He's not going to do that. And he can't go anywhere anyway. He's too recognizable. He wouldn't make it. He wouldn't make it three days. That's if he stayed in a hotel room somewhere. So it's just not going to happen. He, and he couldn't go anywhere in the world. Like he's, he's done. He's going to show up he, or, or he's probably, like you said, he's already in custody. He's going to show up. So he's going to go through R and D. He's going to get through R and D. They're going to dress him out. They're going to, they tell you strip, bend over, cough, spread your cheeks. He's going to be treated in a way that just like he's already being treated in a way that he is just, can you imagine like in his mind, like this is mind boggling, but (laughs) yeah. Do you remember the first time for you, the, for all that? Oh yeah. Listen, the, when they, you know, they threw that de-lousing shit on you, right? Yes. I don't, I'm on me, you know, and then they, they throw it on you. Like they throw like this, what if it's a white powder and they, you know, they, and you kind of, they, then they squirt you with a squirt bottle and then they hose you down. And then, I mean, you were just, it's like this, like I was more gentle with my dog, washing my dog. <laughs> Not that I wanted two guys to grab me and put me in a, in a tub and, and, and scrub me down, but it was just like. And the whole bend over and cough and, you know, spread your ass and the way they talk to you. Like I'd never been talked to like a complete dog. You know, they don't call you by your name. It's inmate. Turn around, do this, do that. Bend over, spread your cheeks, cough. Uh, uh, do, it's like, Jesus God, like this is, it was, it's humiliating. Uh, and it, not, not that I'm sure his victims would, would care how he was being treated. <laughs> They'd be like, <laughs> Um, so anyway, yeah. So, I mean, I remember it was, it was horrible, you know? Yes. So, um, it, it's, it's kind of the same mentality for all of us that like, it, it's, it's, it's degrading and, and you go through it. That's what I think you have, what I call a, 
I'm not going to say an out of body experience, but I think it's kind of a split personality because what's happening is you're you're doing what they're saying, but your mind is actually like kind of giving you a, uh, what is what is a narrative going yeah. like, I cannot okay. believe. Like, I always think of it as being like on autopilot. Yes. Right. Like you feel like almost like you've stepped out and you're watching it happen. <laughs> And you're just, you just become mindless. You're like, all right, right. Okay. Take the shirt off. Do this, do that. Bend. Okay, fine. You can't yes. believe it's happening. Yes. But and that's exactly surreal. what your mind is saying. Yeah. Your it's mind, like my mind was telling me like, like, can you, like my mind saying, I'm, I'm still trying to trace the path to, to this spot. Like, what is it that we've done? <laughs> That's taken us from eating at fancy restaurants, you know what I'm saying, and yelling at a waiter because a steak is not medium rare, <laughs> like <laughs> to lift your meat and cough. <laughs> Can you imagine this? Oh, wait, this and, and, me and, being yelled at about my own meat, you know what I'm saying? I, and listen, I was never, I was never at the level this guy was at. Yeah, so he's really. Like he's being babied by his family. He's being like, it's just, you know, you're buying property and living in other countries. You're, yes. you know, millions of dollars. You're speaking in front of Congress. So you've got, you're, you're donating members to, to, uh, to the Congress. Uh, yeah, you're, to you're, Congress you're donating to, to candidates to, that are running for office. Yes. Wow. It's, that, that you want to, to, to lead your life in a direction that you wanted to lead into. It's unbelievable. Right. So, he, so at this point, so he got locked up and, but, but at least he, like you said, he, he's getting, he's, he's occupied with the trial and, and now he's, he's going to be moved within the next few weeks. He'll be moved to a prison. He'll go through R and D where you go through that whole process again. So he still had, he's got like five, is it five months to sentencing? Oh yeah. Yeah. You're right. I'm saying once he's sentenced, I, I'm sorry. I meant once he's sentenced, so not in a few weeks, but a few weeks after being sentenced, he'll be moved to his prison, which will be yes. 90% chance it's a camp. He's going to go to, not a camp. I'm sorry. A low, a low 90% chance it's going to go to a low, but you still go through R and D. It's still got multiple fences, razor wire, motion sensors. You know, it's a, it's a prison. Yeah. And he'll go through R and D. He'll go through the whole process. Get photoed. Uh, you know, they talk to you like you're garbage. Uh, he does the so, same thing. The reason the reason I bring up the county jail is because the acclimation for him. So, like I tell you, I know some people that are in custody with Elizabeth Holmes. Right. She had she had a shock. She went through a shock period. Didn't I tell you that that they were saying that she's not even brushing her hair. Right, like she's right. going to breakfast, and and people are looking at her like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, oh, <laughs> I don't sure. care how I look. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I'm know, sure. Like you stop wanting to shower. Yes. You stop like the depression. You you don't have control because so much is out of your norm that you're a fish out of water, and you don't even really know what to do, and your brain is is out of the zone. Because he's been in custody all this time, he will still he will do his hair. If he's been doing it to get ready for trial, he will get up and he'll brush his teeth and do his hair. Elizabeth Holmes went through that shot because she turned herself in and then she yeah, she, like, he's oh already God. been in custody, right? He's already yeah, been in custody. Like, Here's the thing: Have you seen his hair? I don't yes. think it matters. He looks like John. For some reason, he looks like John Belushi to me in Blues Brothers. <laughs> he probably kind of does. <laughs> but he yes he he's he's gonna be an, a misfit but he's gonna have enough of it together his problem is gonna lie in the dealing with the guilty people see um county jail and prison the mentality of the people are very vastly different county jail you're dealing with what you're dealing with and it's not a whole lot and you're still worried about trial. Whereas in prison, I'm already convicted. And to some people, I've resigned that this is my home. Right. right. And then I own and run this place. You know what I'm saying? I've got control over certain aspects of my life when, when, when truly I have control over nothing. You know what I'm saying? So he's gonna he's gonna have to deal with the personality clash of it. And if God forbid, you're right, I'm hoping that he's in a dorm 
where he is dealing with multiple personalities and he's not in solitary confinement or in confinement somewhere where he's by himself, where he's not having to deal with him. Because the, and I don't know if you saw that, talk to me about, have you seen that at the low? Because at the low are a lot of people who came from society. They don't understand, like, this is prison and prison mentality. Like when they get there, you know, they're like, I'm going to tell the police, you know, they're yeah, like, what? It, it, it's, he's, um, I, I was going to say that you can mouth off to people in the, in prison and get hurt. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like you can say certain things. Like I, I very quickly realized even just joking around with people that one, you're not necessarily dealing with the brightest people Two, that some of them are like, in some ways they're brutal and in other ways they're super sensitive. Yes. And, and you're dealing with people that have, you know, multiple personality disorder, you know, schizophrenia, you're dealing with people, a ton of people with bipolar disorder. And, you know, you say just the, the, the most normal things, you know, un, you know, you know, you're not uncon, you know, there, there's no conflict like that. You're not, you're try, trying to be a jerk or anything, have a normal conversation in their mind, they'll turn it into something. So, right. so, and he's a snide little arrogant prick. Like, like who knows what kind of arrogant snotty little things he'll say to somebody that could get him hurt. Amen. You know, supposedly yeah, made off mouthed off to a couple guys and, and got and ended up getting the shit slapped out of him yes. at one point. Isn't he out though? Is he out? No, Bernie Madoff, Madoff died, died in prison. You know what? I thought I just thought that did he really? Yeah. Like a year wow. or two ago. A few wow. years ago. Yeah, a few years ago. Um what else? So uh, anyway, I was gonna say, like, I've been locked up with several high profile guys, you know, that went to the low. And at the beginning of their bid. Yeah. Well, no, no. And some of them were at the, at the end of their bid. Right. Oh, okay. Like, well, you know, it, it really depends. It didn't seem like it was at the end of their bid until the first chance, first step chance went through. And then they ended up getting out years early. Right. So, you know, to like, if you got 20 years and you've done eight years, like, and you've got another, you know, with good time, you've got another eight years or nine years to go. Like, that doesn't feel like I'm at the end of my bid. You know, you're in the middle of it. Uh, and other guys got like, they didn't get a lot of time. You know, they got three years or something like that. And they weren't there very long. But these guys were all like, there, there was a guy named uh, Lance Paulson. Lance Paulson. I know we keep saying, you keep thinking it's, uh, we talked about it. It's not the same guy you know. It just sounds familiar. Yes. What happened with Lance is, you know, a very cursory look at his case is that he basically had like an investment company where people were, you know, they were giving him bond, you know, money for bonds and he was paying out dividends. And uh, eventually he, he, he had a, you know, he had a credit line and he was, they were siphoning off money and stuff. And eventually the credit line gets cut off. So they can't make the payments. Like it ends up, it's a semi Ponzi scheme. So he ends up going to trial because he felt like a lot of what was going on had been hidden from him. He was saying, like, I didn't realize that this was happening. He goes to trial. He loses. He gets like 20, 25 years. And he goes to trial and they sent him to a pen. Nonviolent, never in trouble. And they sent him to a pen, you know, and, and it took about a year or so to get him out of the pen. So let me explain whoever's listening. This is a nonviolent criminal who got 25 years. He never should have gone to a pen. Correct. He's gone to a medium. He really should have gone to a, to a lower camp, but they have a certain, they have certain criteria that say, look, if you, you can only go to a camp, if you have under 10 years left, you can only go to a low, if you have under 20 years left now, right. He got 25 years or roughly, but he really should have gone to a medium. I'm sorry. And then you can go, you can't go to a camp with less than 20 years. So he should. So the worst case scenario is he should have gone to a medium for very little time, a, a year or two, but they sent him to a pen for some reason. And as a result, and you know, Zach and I, you know, we talked about this and you were saying that it was retaliation, retaliation. And I know Lance, well, the, the, the gentleman that I knew, and I thought his name was Lance. Okay. 
Well, he he was a um I, I want to say a stockbroker where he invested people's money, but it it, it, yeah, it, 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 it I guess it's the same story, different yeah. person. Right, but but you know you were saying um, retaliation, uh, and that the yeah. guy you had talked to for retaliation. I, I think the prosecutor did it. Right. So Lance, you know, of course, the prosecutors that not going to admit that, like, because no. they could they could get him killed. But you know, these things happen. So you know, we went. There's no reason to get into that. Like, you know, Lance is the same thing. He says it was re- retaliation. The Bureau of Prisons, the U.S. Attorney's Office, they're never going to say that. But they could also never explain how he ended up in a pen. Like, there's only one reason you would put this guy in a pen. Somebody somewhere's upset. Oh, we, it was miscalculated. How can you mis- miscalculate? He's a 65-year-old man who went to trial who's never been in trouble in his life. There's only one reason you put him in a pen. He wasn't an escape risk. You know, right. his, 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 he had camp custody. He had like a, like a, a one or a 0% as far as being a risk, his risk right. factor, whatever you want to call it, that factor. Like I came in with camp points. I had like three points. You should be at the camp. He, he came in with like one or zero. So same thing should have been at, at camp. Um, anyway, he went to a, a pen and when he got to the pen, he had a guy come up to him, a big guy came up to him and said, Hey man, listen, uh, I'm going to make sure you don't get hurt because these guys are going to try and extort you and hurt you. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to put $500 a month on my books or send it to my, my girl. And, uh, you have your, have your family or your people, you know, have your people send me, you know, send money to my, my, my girl on the right. street. Right. And I'm gonna make sure you're okay. And Lance said, I'm not going to do that. And he goes, what? And he said, yeah, you are, you're going to, or, or you're going to get hurt. He's like, well, you know, then that's, what's going to happen. Cause I'm not going to be extorted. Dude right. punched him right then bow right then in the face, knocked his tooth out. He, he, Lance was missing a tooth right here. <laughs> he knocked his tooth out, like almost, you know, didn't break his nose or anything. Like just completely like his eye bloodshot. He just really smashed him one. And he was, it was one punch. One. It was one punch. Yeah. Like one punch. I don't know if he got punched again, but I mean, I think the one punch knocked out his tooth. I don't know if he got punched another time, but he, he was like, Oh, just the whole side of my face was just smashed and Jeez. yeah and and then he so then they put him in the shoe they put him in the shoe for like three months or something i think he got out again um somebody else tried to extort him and then uh, which he said no he said i mean i'll just keep getting punched and go to the shoe i mean i'm but i'm not going to be extorted well they th- th- he said nothing happened now like after that a few months later they were like they were gonna they just decided this is the pin they were like okay well Oh, and he didn't say anything when he got smashed. I don't think he said who did it. Right. Also probably don't think he knew who did it. But some guy just comes up to you randomly. You don't really know. And they've got cameras. They could figure it out. But either way, he can't, got back on. They didn't really bother him. And then a few months later, they he ended up, by that point, they said, you know what? You shouldn't be here. And so he got moved to, I think at that point, he went from the medium or he went straight to the low. Wow. Well, I think he might've gone to the medium for a few months and then they moved him to the low. And that's where I met him in the low and, and at the low, you know, didn't have any problems at the low should have been at the low to begin with. Nobody, you know, nobody approached him at the low. And, and here's the thing, you know, Lance, like a lot of these guys, and this is what I think is going to, and you tell me if I'm wrong, what I think is going to happen. And what typically happens with these guys is like, you'll have someone like uh, Lance and what they do is they get there and if they become a little bit savvy and they've got people ready to help them on the street and they still have money on the street, then what they'll do is they'll go to some guy and they'll say, look, for I'm going to have somebody put $100 a month on your books and you're going to clean my room once a day so I don't have to do it. Okay. You give somebody else 100 bucks. Hey, can you do right. my laundry? <laughs> Absolutely. I'll keep your – I'll keep your – um your locker organized for you. I'll, I'll keep any excess stuff you it have. It sounds like Reese, but <laughs> right. I'll rent a, a legal locker for you. So you have an extra locker. Oh. They're going to put, you know, he, they, you put money on people's books. You're allowed right. to, you, you, you can pay somebody, Hey, I'll give you an extra hundred bucks or two or $300. Let me use all your phone minutes. 
So now I can use the phone. Now, now I'm not limited to 10 minutes a day on the phone. I can do 20, 30, 40. You know, you, you can, you can have people, you put money on their books and, and they go to commissary right. for you. I'll give you a, put 500 bucks a month on your books and you get, you know, get me $300 in commissary, whatever. Like you very, with, with a little bit, listen, with, with less than a thousand dollars, you basically can live like a king in federal prison. If you can get a, somebody sends you a thousand and a thousand dollars to Lance um, Paulson or any of these guys is nothing like Donovan Davis in, in prison. I, there's a guy named Donovan Davis I actually wrote a story on him. Um, it's like a $20 million uh, Ponzi scheme and Donovan lived great and lives great in prison. I mean, he just, you know, he's, He's got. Isn't that the one you said ran the low? Pretty much runs the low. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty much. Yeah, now he's at a camp, but he pretty much ran the low. Like I mean, he and everybody loved him. You know, super jolly, funny, nice guy. Everybody liked him, and he was good. With, like he's a he's a black. He, he's a he's a Jama- he's Jamaican, right? But he's Indian Jamaican. He's from India. So you know, in oh. in Jamaica, there's a, a segment of the population in Jamaica that is actually from India. Right. So he talks the whole patois. The whole thing that he'll do that, but he, he speaks like he can talk like a white guy. He can talk like a black guy. He can talk like a Jamaican, like he, <laughs> and, and so everybody loves him and he's hilarious. He's and hilarious. he has money. People can put money on, he'll put some money on this person's book, this person's he's, he gets commissary that people get him comment would get him commissary. I mean, it was, it was great. He was, he was he was easy to get along with, but he never had any problems. Right. Like I didn't have any problems, you know. Or I think the only way Bankman Freed goes to prison, I was going to say another guy I was lo- locked up with. By the way, same type of situation. Guy named Tim McGee. I forget what he got. Like twenty years. Another guy, Martin Bradley, got. I want to say Bradley got twenty five years. Good and, lord. Oh yeah, for a medical for med, and the only reason he got so much time was he went to trial. Like they were ready to give him like two or three years, and he went to trial and paid for all of his co-defendants lawyers. And then you know the, this and this guy got so screwed. But the bottom line is he ends up at the low. Guy never had any problems. Um, he good you know good guy, but high profile case. Never had any problems. And probably, I don't know about Martin, but I'm assuming he probably put money on people's books. Uh, oh, well, the because I was locked up with Plies's, um brother, who was his manager, and it, remember, do you remember him from Coleman? And familiar. Uh, yeah, Plies's brother, they call him um, Mr. Biggs. It was locked up at Coleman. He was in. I remember I was in Alpha Alpha. What was, was, was that? A one. I was in A one or something like that. Was it the the um uh was it FMB or BMF BMF? No, 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 not BMX. BMX. No, this was Plies, the rapper okay. Plies. Okay. He was he. In fact, he was very was popular familiar. at the time, huh? It sounds for Plies sounds familiar. That's yes. All. He his brother was locked up with us at Coleman. Okay. He was in he was in A. I think I was in A two or something. He was in the unit with me at the meeting. Right? Yeah. He never never came out of the room. Oh yeah, right. people made it. People made all of his his food for him. They brought him yes. food. They cooked it. They- he never went to commissary. People went to commissary for him. He never went to commissary. The one time I was sitting in the day room watching the news with him, he had that fifty dollar radio. He gave me a fifty dollar radio. He had the radio. He plugged it in because you know, compared to the the big box Sony, you yeah. know that little fifty dollar Sanjin, it's just not as loud. So he puts it in. And he's like, I don't like this radio. He goes, it's not as loud as the other one. I go, yeah, yeah, I had one of those. That's not as loud. He goes, hey, you want it? He gave it to me, went up to the room and gave me the box. Like, I just got it today. I don't even want it. (laughs) Yeah, and pretty like that just doesn't happen. Yeah. You know? It it does with with people of that type of wealth. Right, that's what I'm saying. The average inmate is not. And that's what I'm trying to say is that Bankman Freed is not the average inmate. No, he's not going to be the average. If he well, were, go ahead. Well, do you because he hasn't been wealthy all of his life. He was not wealthy a 
Oh, was his parents? Well, he was yeah, not. Yeah, he was upper middle class. His whole life all of his been life. upper middle class. Now he hasn't oh. been fabulously wealthy, but he's always been upper middle class. And I, I still don't know if it, it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Because, like, wealthy for more than ten or twelve years, you have a different perception of money. You have a different relationship with money than those that 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 aren't wealthy that long. So. Um, like Plies' brother had been wealthy a long time. And so that type of money, like what he didn't want, he knew exactly what he wanted to do and how, and he kept that in line at all times. He kept that in line at all times. So um, I think Freed, like it's hard to engage his personality, especially through his interviews, because he came across as kind of like aloof. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so... Like that's not gonna bode him well in prison. So right. it just depends on this person. Like um, Elizabeth Smart is. Can I say Elizabeth Smart? I'm Elizabeth losing my Smart. mind. Please edit. <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> right. It's not that smart. Elizabeth Holmes, <laughs> and this this is what I'm basing it on because the people I talk to about her is like she doesn't she didn't want to talk to anybody when she first got there. Like she had one or two people who slept in her quarters that she talked to. But outside of that, like if you went up to her and, and and like people would tell me somebody would walk up to her and just start talking and she'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And just walk off. Like, I, I don't know who you are. You know what I'm saying? I think you probably went through kind of the same thing when you got there for those that knew who you were as Matt Cox. Right. People walk up, oh, blah, 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 blah. you're probably like, yeah. Yeah. See you later. I'm out of here. Oh yeah. Well, I, I didn't want to talk to anybody. I, I, I was like, I felt like definitely felt like, listen, I'm not here to make friends. Like I, <laughs> I'm, just I, here. I I'm here. <laughs> I need to get out. You know, I, like I, I spent all my time, what, you know, reading and going to, at the beginning. Wasn't... this is at the beginning. Of yeah. Course. I was going to say the, we're talking about the first few months until I actually started teaching the real estate class and I met you and we started doing the, the GED. Like then I kind of really opened up. Right. You know, and, uh, but uh, so here's, here's what I'm, I think what I wanted to address was the, uh, the idea that he would be extorted. So, I, um, and I knew guys that had been extorted, were extorted right. at the low, you know, yeah, at the I mean, medium, at the low, about you, which is hard to believe. It's, 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 yeah. Um, the, but I, I, I knew guys that had been at, you know, but they didn't put up any fight at all. Right. Like the idea that you would be at a low and get extorted, you, you would basically, it would, it would have to be a situation where, because if you pushed back at all, honestly, it, I just don't see anybody being extorted there. But I also think that if you're, if you're so, and the guys that I knew were older guys, like, let's say you're in your late fifties, early sixties and you're frail and you're scared. They came right. in, they had three years and they're terrified. So they come in, somebody approaches them and, 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 and they just decide, okay, well, I'll, I'll give you $50. You know, oh, you want $50? Oh, okay. I'll give you $50. But what they do a lot of times is they'll come and they'll say, Hey, I'll do this for you. And they'll do something. And then you put this much money on my books and nobody will bother you. And so it's not necessarily a strong arm and you kind of realize right. what's happening, but it doesn't feel like you're being extorted so much. And then they'll say, yeah, yeah, I'll put $300 a month on your books and you can buy my commissary. But what they're really, you're only getting you maybe a hundred dollars or $200 of commissary. And a lot right. of times they're shorting you and, you know, so really they're in a way they're extorting you and you're concerned about it but you don't want to say anything like I could see that happening. The, but the only way I, I think that he would be extorted is somebody comes up to him and says, Hey bro, like, you know, you could end up getting hurt here, but if you give me a hundred bucks a month, I'll make sure nothing happens. And he just immediately does it. I, do you see what I'm well, saying? What do you think? I, I, I have a, I have a hard time with that. I don't like hearing he's too, I would think he's too famous. Like you think any of those famous people got extorted? Well, I mean, they tried with Lance. Did they? Yeah, oh, I told yeah. you. But, but he was at a pin. 
I yeah, think I, at a low, that's what I'm saying. If, if right. At a low, you're right. I don't think at, at a low there's as much chance because the fact is, is that all he's really got to do is say, this guy came up to me. He said this, yes. he said that, it, it, and they'll go grab that dude, put him in the shoe for 90 days and ship him. Yes. It, it, Coleman Lowe did that. Coleman Lowe did that because um, people, when I was in the shoe, people told me that when you get over there, they ask you if you are able to go along with the program they got going over there. It's like, hey, we protect a lot of these people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know what these people are about and we protect them, which are the wealthy and the choice crimes. So um, Coleman would definitely protect them. So if he'd have said anything, they would have definitely been gone. Yeah. But I like, I, I just, like, if you went there and you weren't infamous, then I think there's a chance that you might get approached, like you said. But if, if you're famous, I just think, like, initially they look out for you. They just, I think initially they cuddle you and coddle and hey, anything going on. You okay? Cuddle. You cuddle right? cuddling you know, is the issue. <laughs> they coddle you, what you meant. But, yeah, I think that they, they make sure you're okay. Like, they'll call you in and say, do you have any concerns? Because they understand that you offer a PR against them immediately. Like, as soon as you call your lawyer, you know, they're going to have some issues. So they... And they don't want shit in the paper that you've been extorted. You know what I'm saying? Right. So they, they, I told you that about that. And, and I hate to keep going back to her, but I told you about that. Like one of the pictures they have of her, everybody was telling me it features the Timex watch that they watched that, that she bought at commissary. Like it had to be a guard because they'll go like, man, that picture, that watch that she has on, she bought that two days ago. How the hell did the news get that? That's not a picture from a few weeks ago. That's a recent, recent picture. Yeah, and the yeah. guards, I mean, of course the guards, yeah, I'll give you $500 for a picture of her. Yeah, done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So all that kind of, all those kind of things are going to go on for him. So obviously if, if I, if, if I was there and I tried to extort him, you know, at some private meeting that I would never be, you know, aware of, he would say, which one? And they'd run the camera, that one. Oh yeah, he's out of here. And, and I'd disappear. Like, what, what happened? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I know. He got a bunch of commissary one, one week and he was gone the next. <laughs> got what he wanted. Got the hell up out of here. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't, I don't foresee it, but I'm not saying it's not possible. He does need to be on the lookout for it. You know, um, I, I think, I think his, his major issue is, um, it, as far as it's concerned is acclimating himself and you know who he associates with in there you know what i'm saying not just for because he's facing other charges other places you know but somebody might be a, a rule 35 off of him you know right who knows what he knows you know what he's smuggled out you know what i'm saying where's all that money at <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You never know. There are those guys out there that yeah, there are those people that want to know those those <laughs> bastards. He, he left some pending crimes out there, so he may it's have. a matter of who who he associates with, you know. Yeah, which and would you probably always, be some of which would probably be the frauders, you know, he'd probably be hanging out with the fraudsters. I was gonna say that you always have that problem because he hasn't right. he hasn't admitted to everything he's done. So you don't know what else is out there. Yeah. So what didn't they charge him with? Exactly. So it's it's a matter of who he associates with and who he trusts, you know. So well, you know, the other thing is like he's also gonna be subject to the visitation program. So his ability to get these constant visits that you can get in the US Marshals holdover, he's not getting oh, yeah. them. Like now you're limited, like your parents can come see you, like it's like once every two weeks they can come see you. It's you're not going to be getting three visits a week, but his his days his days will be a little more busier. His days yeah, yeah, he'll get a job. He'll be working in education. Um, he'll 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 you know listen in six months to a year he'll surround himself by a bunch of kind of like minded people that are kind of geeky. Unfortunately, it that's probably SOs, right? Right. Maybe fraudsters or SOs. Prop, but he he looks like an SO guy to me. Um, but <laughs> probably. Yeah, so you're right. It, it'll probably be a bunch of fraudsters. They'll hang out. They're all kind of a little bit, you know, touched. 
And uh, I don't mean physically, I mean like mentally, they're all off a little bit. And so maybe he they click up and they'll play Dungeons and Dragons and uh, you know Risk and and they'll play vi- you board know they games. Had that, and, they had that game going on at the medium. Did they have that going on at the low Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, it wasn't Dungeons. It, it, they have another game. But it's the same game. It's it's Dungeons and Dragons. They call it something else, right. but it's Dungeons and Dragons. And yet, and listen, they were serious. Yes, they were That's a serious game. And they would make their own special, like you know, uh, um, eighteen uh, eighteen sided dice. And here's a you know, you got your six sided dice and your and your your twenty sided dice. Like they had these special dice. It, it was it was it was insane. They were insanely serious about it. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll once his expectations of life drop dramatically, and he kind of he'll re he'll acclimate to the environment. He'll get him, he'll surround himself by a a decent group of guys that he's you know like minded individuals. He'll he'll re- start reading a series, and for for two or three years he'll read seriously. And once it sinks in, hey, I'm going to do some fucking some time here. He won't it won't be detrimental to to him. Right, his growth. Right, maybe he'll not, maybe he'll start writing place, books. He's not going to be in a place where he's got to join a gang and do this right. and do that. Like they're going to leave him alone for the most part. At, at some point, they'll point him out. They're like, "Who the heck is that?" And you know, his story is is for the elite and for the. In, I'll call it the informed. His story is really for people who are informed. A lot of those guys that are in the drug trade, or even though they used cryptocurrency will not even know who he was. So, I mean, he'll right. disappear into the abyss, but God bless him. We need to talk when he, <laughs> once he's said it, so we could, uh, you know, offer him some suggest. Well, we can't, he's not out. So he could contact us on what to expect when he gets there and where he should ask to go. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy. I, oh, he's going to get fan mail and all kinds of ridiculous. From us. We'll get one from me, of course, you know, so <laughs> we're big fans. Um, yeah, he's, uh, he's, we'll see. So do you think his sentencing will get moved back or you think it'll be in March? His trial, no, you, fast. you know, I, I can, I can look it up online and keep an eye on it and some pre pre-trial motions and file them. You know, uh, I'm going to read about not pre-trial. Come on. Some pre-sentencing motions, you know, to kind of break down like why he should get a, you know, a favorable outcome or the low end of the guideline and see how they kind of pump up his life. You know, we can meet after his sentencing and and go over it and, and what he's going to have to, how much he's going to do and well, I mean, how long is it going to take for that to sink in? You know what I'm I, saying? I forgot about RDAP. He's uh, probably, he can still take RDAP, but there's no, there's more than RDAP now. There's all kind of programs, right? But I'm that saying are offering people time off. Yep, yeah, no, but I'm I'm saying with programming, with good time. So you're looking at three years off. Let's say let's say he gets exactly twenty. Three years off, good time. Another four years off. Um, so now you're seventeen. Now you're down to thirteen plus RDAP. You're down to twelve years, and that sounds horrible. You know, I did thirteen. Um, you, you did, did 13. Yeah, I, I, I did just shy of 13 or like 12. Oh God, I did 14. Wait, uh, where's the halfway house fit into that? You weren't out a year before we caught hooked up. You were only out about, yeah, you're only out of the halfway house about six months. No, all I think was almost a year and you weren't, in, you were still in the halfway house. You were just on an ankle monitor. Oh, that's right. That's right. So, Dang. um, yeah, I was just shy of thirteen. It was like, it was like, like I just say thirteen because I was saying I was rounding down, and everybody, people were like, "You should be rounding up, bro." You know, think about it. You were like, it was like twelve and it's like twelve years and like you know eight or nine or like nine months. I'm like, so, yeah, yeah, so when is the supervised release over? This year, next year, July of this year, this coming year. So I've got another oh. eight or nine months. You can well, never mind. I was going to suggest asking to get off of it now. I've already asked. <laughs> Remember that? I yes, sent I that motion and did not. <laughs> I do remember that, yeah. <laughs> so, so what, I mean, I, 12 years sounds like a long time. And like you said, there may be some other programs. So let's say another year. Let's say he does 11. Let's say he gets a year of good time. I mean, a year halfway house. 10. 10 or 11 years. If, if ever all the planets align, he gets 20 years and all the planets align, 
You're saying he's going to get less than 20. I'm saying I think he gets roughly 20. So at that point, what do you, at that point, he does, let's say 10 or 11 years. I, I think that honestly for his crime, I think that's reasonable. Like that's more than reasonable, especially, I, and I, I keep in mind, I, I'm I not saying you lost money. Some of these people, people, people lost millions. Oh, yes. Millions. Yes. He, he has a, so what's not really computing in my mind is the victims, you know, of, of his crimes. And, and I probably should put that in the forefront. So that will drive a lot. And that's probably what makes you closer to being right than me being right. I'm sitting here thinking he just had a fictitious exchange and maybe some banks are out. But um, there's a lot of people who trusted and invested in him that are out their money. And and if they parade any of those through his sentencing hearing, then, yeah, that number ticks up like with each with each testimony. that Yeah. Yeah. You know, it starts ticking up. So he might be looking at 20. So uh, hopefully he gets out in, in about 11. Yeah. Um, and and just despite I was going to say, despite what your pre pretrial, I'm sorry, your um, your PSR, pre your pre sentence report says if they parade a bunch of victims in front of the judge, the judge is going to be like, mm. even though it might say, you know, uh, 240 months, the judge, every, every victim that gets up there and starts crying, the judge is going to be like, yeah, mm. Mm. yeah, it's getting higher and higher. Just like oh, you yes. said. Yes. They, and, and, and they're probably coming and they're probably coming. I mean, if the prosecutor is smart, he's going to, he's going to get, of he's going to, he's not going to get an institutional investor that lost that lost a uh, hundred million. He's going to get some, some guy who's 65 years old who says, I, I invested a, a hundred thousand, my a hundred thousand dollars of my life savings for my retirement. I invested because this guy was going on the news and he had all these podcasts and things saying to invest and everybody was screaming how wonderful he was. So I trusted him and I lost a hundred thousand dollars. Your honor, I, I can't retire now. I, I have well, to, had to oh, move in with me, my daughter. Me, Excuse me. Um, did you say you were a disabled veteran also? Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine <laughs> by that point? Like, <laughs> yeah, he's done. It's like the, the, the judge is going to be like, I also served in Iraq. What judge unit were you in? and shoot you at that point. Like, you're out of here. <laughs> so, yeah, it could go bad. It's it's probably I, I, I still think I, and I think 20 because they're going to take his his youth into, Maturity. into consideration. Yeah. He's young. Now you got me yawning. He's he's about thirty, right? Thirty one. Yeah, I probably think he's older than that at this point. But you know, he was supposed to supposed to be a boy genius. Not that he isn't a genius. He's just also a prick. Um. So they they, they hand in hand. They go hand in hand. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you watching the video. Do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get notified, leave me a comment, do all the stuff you're supposed to do, and I really do appreciate it. Also, please consider joining my Patreon. It's like $10 a month. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. See ya.